Yes, the first Charles Tour event of 2012 saw New Plymouth's Namoto Lynx host the Taranaki Energy Open. Held earlier than previous years, the event capitalised on some great weather. And as well as a new date, there was a new clubhouse to enjoy. 12 months, literally to the day we sort of started the demolition of the old building. So uh, we're here, we're finally in, and as you can see behind us, it's a, it's a great venue. It's a one level, it's not two-storey like the old one. However, we've moved the clubhouse, you know, about 12 metres more to southeast. Um, and it's looking, uh, with the views over the 8th green, over the city and the Tasman Sea, uh, the, views, the views are brilliant. So I think the design's a clever design. The biggest name in the field, Mark Brown, lived up to his billing, sharing the lead after the first round. The 2006 champion was joined by local favourite Grant Moorhead and Josh Carmichael in carting a five-under round. And it was the defending champion Carmichael who remained at the top after 36 holes. The North Harbour golfer signing for a one-under 71, making him the only player in the field with two sub-par rounds. On to round three and the winds dropped away, meaning that low scoring was on the cards for moving day of the Taranaki Energy Open. The rookie pro, Ryan Fox, continued the form that he showed at the New Zealand PGA Pro-Am. Backing up from her fourth in Queenstown, Fox shot up the leaderboard with a third round of four under par 68. I had some really good shots, I had a bunker shot and had a couple of really good shots on the par fives but sort of was, was fighting it a little bit today and I hold a couple of putts and as I said a bunker shot and that kind of kept things going for me. Although Fox is now playing for prize money, his overnight philosophy is no different heading into the final round. Same old stuff mate, I want to win golf tournaments, you know, that's, that's why I play the game so, you know, just stick to the same routine, watch some rugby, I think have a steak or something like that and you know, just come out tomorrow relaxed and refreshed and, and see if I can put a number on the board. Joining Fox at 9-under to sit in a share of second place was Jared Pender, the Tauranga Pro also carding a third round of 4-under 68. But the real surprise on Saturday was Tiano's David Klein. The 21-year-old had a superb 6-under round to vault him to the top of the leaderboard. I shot 6-6 six six today and I'm flat pretty solid. Missed one green and you know, had three eagle putts in there, so overall, I'm pretty pleased, but could have done better. And he very nearly went better on the par 3 sixth hole, having left his tee shot only a half inch from the cup. When it landed, I thought, oh, it's got to go hit the pin at least, and ended up right behind it. I couldn't believe how it missed, so, you know, it was, I don't know, he couldn't put another ball in between, so it's easy tapping. Current tournament leader from Tiana, David Klein. The final round began with Klein holding a one-shot advantage, but he was quickly joined at 10-under by Pender with a tap-in birdie on the first. Klein then went looking to regain his one-shot advantage with a birdie chance on the very next hole. Next to pick up a shot was Ryan Fox. Having driven the green on the 321-yard par-4 third hole, the Aucklander earned a tap-in birdie to get to 10-under. He then joined Pender and Klein at 11 under with another birdie on six. The trio sharing the lead of the Taranaki Energy Open. Klein and Pender picked up shots on the seventh hole to get to 12 under. But Fox would look to rejoin them at the top on the ninth hole. But the telling hole was a par five tenth. Fox taking a drop and dropping a shot Klein was hoping for a luckier bounce. The southern man now with a chance for a birdie to get out to 13 under. And when Jared Pender dropped a shot on 12, also to fall back to 11 under, Klein had a two shot cushion. The trainee helicopter pilot would need to rely on accuracy off the tee as he came under attack from both Fox and Pender's booming drives. And so it was on the par 4 15th that first Fox and then Pender cut the corner and took the shortcut over the trees to earn birdies. Klein now needing to roll a birdie in to remain too clear. Just a shot adrift now playing 16, Pender joined Klein at 13 under. The next up was Fox with a birdie chance to make it three at the top. 
Having worked so hard, Pender's fight ended with a bogey on 17. So then there were two. Klein very nearly sealed it with an eagle on 18. He'd be matched with a birdie by Ryan Fox, a sudden death playoff needed to decide the Taranaki Energy Open. But the nerves showed as both players sprayed their drives in opposite directions, replaying the par five last. Having scrambled to the green in three, Fox had the best chance to win his first four-rounder as a pro. On to the second playoff hole, but it couldn't break the deadlock. So they ventured up 18 for the fourth time in succession. And Fox very nearly got an eagle. Oh! Klein was also on the green in three and had a birdie chance. Yeah! So it was over to Ryan Fox to extend the playoff once more. David Klein winning his first Charles Tour event, a fantastic reward for the quiet deer farmer from Tiana. Uh, I've been up there in conventions a lot of times and finally get through. It's, it's a great feeling to be there. Klein. For Klein, victory was down to belief in his own accuracy under fire from the longer hitters. Yeah, I hit most of the fairways normally, like I'm pretty straight off the tee and I only missed two, three fairways in the last two days and that's my strengths. Just sit on the fairway, had it close and, you know, still got a birdie putt. Well done to David Klein, a popular winner from Tiana. In the women's field, Emily Perry was back to defend her Taranaki Open title. She'd do battle with a 12-year-old Tyler Kingy from the Bay of Plenty who'd finish an admirable second. Well, that was 13 shots adrift of the dominant Perry added to her New Zealand stroke play title last month. She'll now turn her focus to international events. Queen Circuit in a week, that's a big one. I think we've got a really strong team. And then hopefully the British Amateur and obviously aiming for the Esperito Centre.